Welcome back everyone. Wow, what a game. That one really felt like it was going to overtime, but thankfully the Lakers were able to pull it out. Now, it did come all the way down to one final free throw attempt by LeBron, which he of course had to miss the first one to make it more dramatic, but he was able to knock down the second one, which gave him point number 37 on the night. I mean, come on LeBron, I think it would have been a whole lot cooler for a 38 year old to have 38 points, but we'll take it. All joking aside here though, that was a very good team win for them. The Rockets might not have been much during the past couple of years now, but they were 6-4 entering tonight's game, along with having the 4th rated defense in the entire league. They'll make you fight hard for a win, and that's exactly what they did tonight. But at the end of the day, a win is a win. It doesn't matter how you get it. And after getting this one, the Lakers will be moving into the top 6 within the Western Conference. And in my opinion, they are really only getting started. Not only are they not fully healthy, but they have gotten nowhere near the production that they could and really should be getting from a few of their role players. But once everyone gets more comfortable, I think everything will start to click for them. And again, that's with them already looking pretty good. Not quite great, but I think they're on the right track here. Getting back to the actual game here though, it was definitely a defensive battle out there. Believe it or not, the Lakers were able to win despite shooting under 21% from three only knocking down 6 total 3 point shots on the night. And you will not find many teams who can win like that, and especially not against opponents with a winning record, but they were able to do it through a combination of their defense, their improved defensive rebounding compared to usual, and then with their ability to get to the rim. I know the casual NBA fan might look at the stat sheet and go wow, the Lakers shot 29 free throws while the Rockets got only 10, the refs were obviously on their side. But in reality, that's what happens when you get to the rim, along with playing against a team that ranks at the top of the league in total foul calls. Up until this point, the Rockets have been averaging 21.8 fouls per game, the third highest total in the entire league, and that pretty much perfectly aligns with how many foul calls the Lakers get per game at 21 flat. I mean, you can even argue that they should have gotten a few more of them too. Now, that's neither here nor there, but they earned every single foul call that they got tonight, and boy do they need them too. I don't think they'll ever become a great 3 point shooting team, but they really do need more 3 point shooting than this. Only LeBron and Austin Reeves were able to knock down more than one 3 point shot on their entire team tonight. And not only that, but they committed 17 total turnovers to go along with it. And it is really difficult to win when you're not knocking down 3 point shots, and then you're turning over the ball like that as well. But again, I really did like the way they rebounded tonight. They clearly put an emphasis on it, and if they can maintain that going forward, then they'll be very tough to beat regardless of how they're shooting. With all of that being said though, I'll let you hear from the Lakers about their win tonight. And after listening, let me know your thoughts about this game in the comments down below. Of course you were just aware that they didn't have a timeout so they couldn't advance, you only had it one, right? Oh, of course. Uh, but I still want to go up there and knock them both down, but definitely was aware they had no more timeouts, so happy I could go up there and knock one down in the game. No, I'm sure Austin will feel the same way about his uh, splitting, so he needed to make both. Now, teammates just weren't hitting shots that were open tonight until Austin hit the shot, so I suppose that's part of the whole theory for you. You just keep going back to him and get the good shot. Of course. I, one thing about me, I'm going to continue to trust my teammates no matter if they go in or not. You know, I think uh, law averages and obviously the average was a little bit low tonight, but, uh, you know, AR hit a big one right there for sure. The efficiency that you're playing with uh, in year 21, so almost 60% from the field in November, above that tonight, how are you finding the shots and the places that you're wanting and knocking them down at this rate right now? My, I don't even know, man. I'm, I guess I'm just, I'm in a really good groove right now. Uh, I don't feel that great right now. Uh, dealing with a couple injuries, a little under the weather right now, but I just, I guess I'm just trusting uh, the work, trusting the work, and then the competition get me going a little bit too as well. So, uh, you know, my teammates needed me to be as great as I could be tonight, and I'm happy I was able to come through for them. All right, so if not feeling great physically, then is it a bit of a mind over matter type situation? Well, I mean, if I'm in the lineup, then I have to produce. That, that is, uh, there's no if, ands, or buts, and there's no excuses. So, uh, you know, just get my mind right. Uh, you know, even if my body's not feeling great, you got to get your mind right. And I think that could take me a long way, which it did tonight. Last one for you. So, in-season tournament resumes on Tuesday. And in short, if you win, you will secure yourself home court for the quarterfinal, either the one or the two. How important is that? Well, anytime we get an opportunity to have, uh, you know, a, a meaningful game um, or any game, uh, you know, in our home floor in front of our home fans, I think that's uh, that's big time. So, you know, right now with the NCAA tournament, we have an opportunity on Tuesday, like you said, to secure a home court for the quarterfinal. Uh, Utah's been playing, you know, some pretty good ball as of late. So uh, we look forward to the matchup. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate it.
you actually you shot the ball well just having a lot of attempts tonight and as a team the threes weren't going down is there any part of your brain before you get the ball late like that that's that's has any of that in your mind you have to push some of it out or and just kind of take us through that play once you get the ball and, and release that three um i just believe in myself uh brian made a good pass and thought i was open um they kept telling me it was really deep i didn't even really ex- you know i don't think i understood how how uh, far it was, but uh, just try to get a good look and make a shot. Okay. Awesome. You play your typical amount of playing time in Portland the other night um, just to be able to have this type of result, not only the win, but be so key in it down the stretch. How What does that do for kind of your um, mental space within this team? Uh, I mean, we won in Portland, right? Yeah. So, I mean, the win, that's all that matters. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, but, you know, I stay focused, stay ready to, you know, hopefully contribute however I can contribute. And uh, tonight that was late in the game, and um, it was good to, you know, pull out a win. Guys, you were both there last year when Dylan Brooks said what he said about LeBron and we saw the way LeBron responded last year. I don't know that I've ever seen him do like a too small on the court. Um, did you see a different juice in him today? And I guess beyond that, can you just sort of speak to the run that he's been on to start the year? I mean, I, I don't know what's the what are the like what's the beef between those two guys, but you know, I know they've been doing it for a while. You know, especially last year the playoff. You know, um, they had you know things going on, but you know. <laughs> You know, for for Bron, for Bron, you know, it's nothing. You know, it's just uh, it's it's actually good for him. He he need that motivation, so you know, it's actually bring him more. You know, um, to the game. And as you guys seen, like you know, it's whatever he's doing, and like it, it's it doesn't do anything to him. You know, he actually score more. He's you know he gets rebound more. He you know, and then we've been winning. So yeah, so yeah, it's a it's, those are things like you know, just you know, you know, Brooks. He he just wanna you know be part of it. You know, his his legacy, I guess. You know. You want me to answer? That was, I mean, that was a good answer. Um, I don't know. The one special thing about Brown is, um, I was telling someone this the other day, I've never really seen him in a bad mood. Uh, he's always got energy. You know, he's the oldest player in the NBA, but, you know, still acts like he's 20 every day, um, just joking around, having fun. Um, and I think he plays the game the same way, um, regardless of who he's playing. And, you know, like Rue said, you know, anytime Brian has something that pushes him a little, you know, further, um, you see the results like you get tonight, uh, like last year in the playoffs. You know, he just did more after all that stuff started happening. Okay, okay. Um, you pointed uh, after the shot. First off, the shot was far, by the way. But <laughs> um, you pointed to the crowd. Was that to Bronny after you made that three? To- yeah. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. You got it. Oh, yeah, that was oh, it. Oh, that was it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I seen him up, you know, clapping, uh, celebrating. So, you know, those moments, uh, you, you know, adrenaline kind of takes over and uh, you just have fun with it. But, yeah, that was towards him. Hey, to both of you guys, um, you know, I think before the season there was some hope that, you know, with the deeper roster and stuff that, right, um, maybe you guys can unburden LeBron a little bit. Um, I was just kind of feel, wondering, uh, one, how do you guys feel, I guess, about that responsibility to maybe, right, what you guys can do? What are some of the things you guys could do to maybe, you know, um, uh, make it so that you guys, right, you know, he doesn't have to play, say, 40 minutes or whatever to, for you guys to win games? And how far do you think you guys are from being that team, you know, right now? I mean, yeah, we won't play 40 minutes for sure. <laughs> but, you know, it's a team, you know. Uh, like, as you guys saw last year, you know, in the playoffs, you know, uh, we made a big run and, you know, we most of most of the guys, the main guys came back and, you know, um, we still been, uh, we've been building a chemistry, you know. We've been still trying to figure it out. And a couple, uh, we had a couple of new guys and, you know, we have a different lineups every day, different rotations. So we're still trying to figure it out. But, you know, I think it's, we we getting better, you know. I can feel that, you know, our chemistry getting, you know, stronger every day. And yeah, we just gotta keep going, keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. If he, I mean, if Brian plays like this, then we want him to play 48 minutes. So, um, no, that's really it. Uh, you know, I, mean, I don't he's think. 38 though, right? I mean, it's. Yeah. I mean, I remind him every day he's old. I mean, uh, <laughs> in basketball years, I uh, just told him that again, and. Um, 
you know, he's he's fighting Father Tom better than I'd say anybody, you know, that's played the game other than maybe Tom Brady. But, um, you know, like I said, you know, he's playing at a really, really high level. Up for both you guys, in-season tournament, at least the group stage part of it, you guys wrap it up on Tuesday. You can advance uh, to the knockout rounds with the win over Utah. Have you guys felt any extra juice in, uh, in these, I guess, past three in-season tournament games? And uh, have you guys thought about what it would look like advancing uh, beyond the group stage yet? Uh, I mean, for me, any time I play, you know, a game, you compete to win. And in that sense, it's you no know, different. Um, but... You know, it'd be cool to, you know, say you won the first in season tournament, um, you know, with three and zero right now, have a chance to go four and zero against Utah, and you know, go to Vegas to, you know, compete for that. So we're definitely looking forward to that.